All right, guys, Navarro Bowman has been reinserted into packs. Uh, we don't need to go into too much detail about what happened last week, but basically he was not in packs. People spent coins, people spent money, and they had to get compensated for that. And right off the bat, it looks like we pull ourselves a Broncos versus Packers Super Bowl collectible. Um, I know that goes for a decent bit. And in this next pack here, and this was pre-recorded, I don't have my live reactions, unfortunately, because I just got my PlayStation 4, and I've been trying to mess with that a little bit. So I was trying to rush, open some packs on PlayStation 3, and open up some packs on PlayStation 4 uh, to see if I can get myself a Bowman. And so far, these pack openings have been pretty good. I think we're about three packs in at this point. Um, I'm going to cut out the packs, of course, that were trash and just show you the good packs that I opened. Um, I think overall I spent about 130 to 140 k in packs, and I honestly believe I made that back easily because look at that. Another Super Bowl collectible, that one was the Steelers and the Cowboys. And right from the Super Bowl collectibles themselves, that's about 60 k a piece. That's 120 That makes up for almost all the money I spent tonight. Um, I'll go ahead and see what's in this pack here. And there's actually a very, very good pull near the end of this video that you guys should stick around for. Uh, but right now we get Malcolm Smith. This was the guy that picked off the pass from the Richard Sherman tip to win the game against the 49ers. And uh, he's actually a decent card, 88 speed, some decent tackling stats and stuff like that. But basically not usable up until this point in the game. Uh, usually all the good cards now are 99 to, you know, like 97, 99. So he's not really useful. But you could probably pick him up for cheap. Um, also inserted into the game tonight were signature cards. I don't know exactly which ones, but there's Rob Ninkovich, 8 of 250. And, uh, I guess that was a pretty decent pool. I mean, his normal card usually goes for around 15K, so that should be at least 30. And it'll probably drop down to 15K in a little bit, but we may get 30. Uh, next pack is going to be, I think, another signature card that was released tonight. Um, actually, I thought it was something else when I saw it, but unfortunately it was not that specific card it was Mike Tolbert I don't know why but when I saw it I thought it was Cam Newton and I know you can't open up Cam Newton playoff of course um, I just I saw a huge overall I flipped over to it real quick and I saw Panthers and I freaked out uh, pretty funny moment wish I was recording my live reaction but I was in a hurry and I wanted to get this done but here it comes guys drum roll please this is going to be the best pool of the pack opening check it out 97 overall in Dominican Sue. Now, why is that the best pool? Because that is the zone defense version of Dominican Sue needed for the Calvin Johnson collection. His MVP card, which is going for around 500k on both consoles. And at this point in time, as you see, my controller's not moving. It's just stuck on Dominican Sue. I am freaking out at this point in the video. Running around my house saying, oh my god, Josh, I got Indomitian Sue. <laughs> One of my over-the-top reactions that I wish I would have had. I'm really sorry for that, guys. I will be sure when I have my PS4 splitter. Uh, I think it's the Orie HDMI splitter 2-in-1. Definitely pick that up if you're getting a PS4 and you want to record um, and scramble that HDCP. Definitely get that because when I get that and I have my headset and everything ready to go, I'm going to be doing live reactions on everything. So I'm sorry I don't have the live reaction, but Indominus Sue, amazing card. And I'm out of here, guys. Peace. On the sideline for a touchdown. And right here, Russell Wilson's looking around. Looking around. Who are we going to hit up? Oh, another appearance by Jerry Rice. Putting us up two scores, 21-7 to going into the fourth quarter. And what's he going to do here? He's going to go ahead and hit up.